Okay, what we're going to be doing right now is, is putting these bushings in. They're poly bushing for energy suspension for Suzuki Samurai. Here's the part number right there. Anyway, these are the ones that are listed as like OEM replacements on Long Range Off Road's website. Long, I keep saying Long Range, Low Range Off Road, Low Range. So why would you want these? For one, they're, they're way more durable. They will last a lot longer. Why would you not want them? It's possible that they might squeak and that they might rub, ride kind of rough or stiffen up your suspension and not allow it to flex as much. I'm not really sure about that one yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install them and then just, just kind of flex the suspension out and just see what everybody thinks about it. Okay, so what comes in a bag? Enough to do two springs or the front or the back. The, the bushings are the same on the front of that. So basically you get these two big ones for the for the you know one side of the spring. You get these bigger ones that go on the bigger circle in the spring. Obviously they have these these little sleeves that go through them. And then you get you know two for the spring side, two for the shackle. And the same thing for that for that. So that's what comes in this part. And they give you uh, two little things of this grease. It also says that impervious to uh, impervious to uh, gas oils and other petroleum products will not rot deteriorate from smog, ozone, road salts, etc. Soft enough for smooth ride and yet firm enough for the most demanding driver. That sounds good sales pitch. Please ignore the stain on my shirt. I'm not changing. I'm about to get real dirty anyway. Just go ahead and meet me outside where the Samurai's at. I'll be out there in a minute. Okay, so here's a vehicle working on the 87 Suzuki Samurai. To change these bushings, you need to have a way to take the weight off the springs. I have it set up on some jack stands. And I'm going to use this jack to, uh, you know, raise and lower the axle. I would start by taking out the inside of the frame mount bolt. That way you don't have to crawl back under it after, you know, everything's loose. These should be 17 millimeter. Okay, so now that that nut is off, the trick is to get the weight off the spring, to get the weight off of this, this bolt. And you can do that by raising and lowering the axle now that the frame is, you know, stationary. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my shock loose in case that's, uh, you know, causing it to, to do anything. See, it's loose. Well, at least it doesn't have that much pressure on it, but you still got to be careful not to mess up the threads. They can take a little bit of abuse, but you just can't be beating on them too hard. See that? Real fast, one thing I do want to point out, my spring is in there backwards. They're symmetrical, like, the, like the, the middle, the center bolt is in the center. So I can't tell you that it's okay to run it like this. I did this as an experiment. I can elaborate it. I can elaborate on it later in a different video. But um, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it back the right way. But um, it's doing this to all the, all, the, all the bushings. You know what I mean? It's doing it to the back, front. All these rubber bushings are just getting torn apart like that. You know, within a couple of months. So, you know, if you were doing your uh, regular one, you could already pop the, the, the um, bushings right back in and put it back together. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and flip the spring back how it's supposed to be. And, uh, and then, you know, start back where I left off in a... Okay, I put that bolt back in for safety reasons because once you, know, once you take the spring loose, the only thing holding up is that jack stand and you don't want to be under it. Okay, to take these loose, you just need a 17 millimeter. And just like the other side, the trick to it is to take the weight off of it that way it you know that way it's easy to come apart
Okay, so at this point I have all the bushings knocked out. And I'm going to go ahead and take the U-bolts loose and flip the spring around. And then I'm going to continue as if I never had to do this because this is not part of the procedure. I only did this because my springs were mounted backwards. Alright, back where we left off from. This spring is, I, have, I pushed it forward that way it's not up under there. And it's not under a whole lot of tension. See what I mean? But it could possibly spring back and cut your finger or something. So I recommend not putting your finger in that hole at all under any circumstances. I'm just going to clean it like that. It's good enough for me. These say to apply a thin coat on this surface and on the sleeve. It says that if you're not using a sleeve to put it on the bolt, but we do have a sleeve. So I'm just going to stick these in there real quick. Hopefully that's a light coat. Yeah, be careful with that, but it's like I said, mine, I can actually control it. It's not really going to go in. I should probably use gloves for that, but I'm just barely using one little finger. I mean, taking stuff apart, you, you touch grease that much anyway. So stick this, stick this in here like this. I'll put this in there. Voila. What I did was I pried with the crowbar on the front spring just like that. What, not even that hard really. Okay, so after wiggling around a whole bunch, I finally got it in. And I can go ahead and tighten these down. Or tighten this bolt. These bolts on the frame sides uh, say to mount, uh, torque them 43 and a half to 61 foot pounds. So I'm just going to set mine at 50 and do it. Go ahead and do this side. Same thing, clean inside. You can't go nowhere. Okay, so after I wipe the two holes out with the rag, right now I'm about to put the bushings in, and I'm just applying a light coat around the bushing. And uh, these you should be able to just push them in by hand. Now it's time to put the shackle in. Same thing, grease on the two pins. And you need to have the suspension set up where you can just uh, push it right in. Now it's time to put the little, uh, the other side of it on and uh, tighten it up. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten this one up. Torque it. The torque spec is supposed to be 22 to 39 and a half foot pounds. So I'll just set it 25. But they actually have a little bit of room 
to move around. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. They have a little bit of space left because the shackle is tightened onto the little shoulder and the, the little, it's tightened up against the bolt. Don't forget to hook up your shock. I don't know if I showed that or not, but I did hook up mine. Um, anyway, I went ahead and jumped ahead and did the other side, done with that side. And it kind of looks like it has a lift kit on it. It's sitting crooked, but that's because the back shackles are, you know, they're, they're torn apart and it's, it's causing it to lean. I'll end up replacing those on a different video. Okay, so the front's done. Unfortunately, I have no way to flex it safely. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the back on a different video and then do another video on how much that kind of suspension can flex with new bushings in it. Alright, talking about poly bushings, why they're better. Th these were the ones that are, these were already in the Samurai when I got it. They're, the whole time I've been running it, it's always had one side had poly bushings that were they're real old. And uh, I've already went through several sets of, of the rubber bushings that they all came out looking like that. They all came out looking like that where the bolt just goes right through it after only a few weeks or months. You know, only take it out uh, off-roading maybe three or four times and it'll completely destroy the bushings. And these have been in there the whole time. They're actually the same part number as the ones that I replace, as the new ones. The back is actually the same, so I may or may not actually make a video on it. If anybody wants to see it, just leave it in the comments. But I will eventually make a video on uh, flexing it out all the way to just kind of show what it does. I don't know. The end.